Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, and for this Science Corner experiment, we are going to be making our own snowflakes by growing our own crystals, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna take you through step by step, but first the materials that you need, borax. I found this near the laundry detergent. I got it at Walmart. You need a pencil. You don't need this many, but you just need a pencil. You need pipe cleaners, string, and scissors. Now you also need boiling water and you'll see why in just a couple of minutes, but you may need an adult to supervise because it does include some boiling water. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to take two pipe cleaners and cut one of them into thirds. You'll wrap those three pieces around each other in the middle to form a snowflake. Next, you take your other pipe cleaner and cut six 1.5 inch pieces and wrap those around each arm of your snowflake to give it just a little bit more style. Next, you're going to cut a small piece of string, tie one end to the center of your snowflake and the other end to the pencil after measuring it to make sure the snowflake doesn't touch the sides or the bottom of the glass. I did a second snowflake in a bowl too. Next, you boil one to four cups of water. It really just depends how big your snowflake is. You're going to add three tablespoons of borax per cup of boiling water to your jar. Here, I added 12 tablespoons of borax since I boiled four cups of water. I did 1.5 cups of water in the bowl and added four and a half tablespoons of borax. Add the boiling water to the borax and stir. Now, place your snowflake in that solution and let it sit. You'll notice some changes after a few hours, but wait at least 24 hours before taking it out and letting it dry. So why did this experiment work? Well, when you put the borax in boiling water and you start it around, it dissolved, right? Well, the snowflake sits in that solution. The little borax particles kind of settle on the pipe cleaners and on the bottom of your glass. And once the water cools, the borax goes back to its original state, which is this powder. So that's what forms the crystals. So why is each snowflake different? Well, we gotta start with how snowflakes form. Snowflakes form way above your heads, way up in the atmosphere where it's really, really cold. And they form when a really cold water droplet freezes around either a dust particle or a pollen particle that's way up in the atmosphere and it forms an ice crystal. Now, as that crystal starts to fall, it collects more and more water vapor as it moves through the atmosphere and it forms new crystals. Now, the reason why each snowflake is different is because each snowflake takes a different path down to the surface from way up in the atmosphere. So it encounters different temperatures, different atmosphere conditions, different wind speeds, and that sort of thing. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you had a great Science Corner experiment and send me your pictures of your crystals once they're done.